Okay, going through your significant other's phone. <laughs> Wouldn't dare. You will never. I'd rather <laughs> eat a jean jacket. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Whitney and Lynn, and I'm back with another video. And as you see, guys, I got my girl Lo with me. Hey, y'all! It's your girl Lo. Y'all should know her because you see me, you see her. Period. Period. And we back with another girl talk y'all know how we like to get down yeah. we love to have girl talk so we're gonna be talking about some juicy some juicy questions we got some juicy questions that we're gonna be discussing that the girl is gonna like because we're keeping it raw real raw and re dang and while we're talking we're gonna be um drinking that Stella Rosa Black. Black. Hold on. Good. and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting on? Because we lit over here and we only going up. So we need you to like this video, right comment now. on this video, comment about what we talking about. Comment if you subscribe so I can be like. And if you didn't, just subscribe so you can comment that you subscribe. That's what I'm Duh. saying. Like, come on, we going up. Come I'm telling y'all, you don't. You want to? I remember who was there from the get go. Don't try to follow the bandwagon when it's popular. Now follow it now. Oh, you not playing? You know this mine. I'm scared of. Yeah, I know I love me some good Stella Rose. Cheers first. Um, how do you detach from a guy? Um, I think it's a, a lot of different ways that you can detach from guys. So we're going to talk about our personal experiences from how to detach from a dude. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for me personally, to detach from a guy, it's more of like, um, you because you're going to be heartbroken because of, you know, you love the person, whatever. But how to detach from them, I feel like it's just, um, you have to get out of the routine of talking to them every day. Like, that's the most painful part. And the easiest way for me to just get out of the routine and just is to cut communication with them and build my routine with myself outside of them, like, without them in my life. And it takes a little time, but once I adjust with them, not talking to them every day, not them not being in my life every day, then I'm able to detach from all the feelings and overflowing feelings that I have for that person. Not that it's not gonna fix it though. You still gonna have feelings <laughs> for sure, but you just gotta fight them off. It's gonna help you detach at least. Mm -hmm. Mine is just acting like that wasn't there. Like mute they story, don't watch none they got going on, just ignore them fully, block their number, all of that until you can like well you can't you need to you need to get to the point where you can look at them and not feel no type of way. Like, if they post a girl, you're not going to feel the type of way about it. That's how over you need to be with them before you get to watching back their Instagram and stuff like that. That's how I do it. And I feel like girls think that, oh, like, I'm going to just keep it cool with them and, like, mm -hmm. be their friend until you can't, like, not at the first beginning. You can't be your friends with somebody you was in love with as no. soon as y'all break up because it's, the relationship stuff is never going to end. Exactly. You have to give yourself time to adjust with them outside of your life to know, like, okay, I can function without them. I can move forward. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't be friends, y'all. Y'all gotta stop. Can't so that's it. how our coping ways are detached from a guy. Mm -hmm. It might not work for everybody, but that's what we do. Right. Okay. Um. Second chances. How do you feel about second chances? I don't give no second. She chances. really don't. Y you cross that line once, you stand over there. I don't care what you did. If I feel like you disrespecting me, you're done. And I. Would I never think it's a lot of girls that cap. She don't cap. She really is one and done. I don't like you again. I could, I feel like I can't give you a second chance because I'm not gonna like you no more. Like. I'm always gonna remember that that thing you did. I'm not even. We can't get past that. Um, I feel like as far as cheating, there's no second chances. Mm -mm. I think in the past when I was young, I gave a second chance after cheating, and that was the worst mistake I ever made. Mm -hmm. They do it. They're gonna do it again. Period. They didn't respect you. So for me, second chance after cheating is a no. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not giving you a second chance after cheating. But if we break up because we was both going in different directions or something like that, then I would give a second chance if it was. If God brought the relationship back together. But if not, mm -hmm. I don't even be thinking about that. I feel like you give somebody a second chance, the disrespect. Yeah. If they I mean, the respect you, is gone. It's gone. And if they disrespected you like that, they just didn't have respect for you. It's they just, didn't have respect for you. Like You got to move on. You got to move on. Like, nothing's going to change. They're going to fake and they're going to text and they're going to cry and do all that. Like, they're going to change. They apologize. 
That's cap. They just want to get you back in their circle so they can go be with them other hoes and have your ass in rotation. Because one thing That's about a nigga is. is that he going to always want to keep you in his position. He Who want, want who's to not going to? You might think he coming back because he would like you. Who don't want somebody they can play with? Like, yeah. a, like a child. Of course you're not going to throw that you away. And the 10 hoes that they talking to. They, they want, want you too, though. They want they you They not going to just go with them. They so all that, too. don't think he crying to you and texting you and blowing your phone up because he wants you. No, he wants you back in their rotation. And y'all mm. gotta stop thinking blowing your phone up means something. What, what do that mean? Anybody can blow. He can blow phone up a girl phone that he does not know, just trying to get her to come over there so he can, it's, you exactly. know, do the do her. Had a way. Blowing your phone up is nothing. They blow up anybody phone. Stop taking it. Ladies, stand want up. You. He don't want you. He still don't want you. You gonna blow your phone up? You gonna be with him? He still gonna say he don't want you. You gonna get dog worse each time you keep taking him back. <laughs> the worst of the dog ain't gonna get. Yeah, cause he be like, oh, she took me back. And then the final dog is when he had a baby on you. That's the final and dog. Now you sick. Now you in a two T. A two T. Tiny. No, Tiny. Man. we don't. Want, we not getting no two T's, but we trying to get thick. We're not trying to get skinny. We're done. Anyways, um, how do you build confidence in yourself? Um, how I build confidence in myself is. I don't want to go forward with the question, but how I build confidence in myself is like, I know the woman that I am. I know what I bring to the table. I know everything that I could bring to somebody's life. I know how my heart is pure and I build my confidence and continuously telling myself and my relationship with God and knowing how God look at me and I look at myself the same way. So mm -hmm. I'm really, really confident in that. I don't, I just cater to myself, and that builds my confidence with me. Cater you to myself. You have to have. That's the key thing in confidence, self-love. You got to mm -hmm. feel like you the baddest. I don't care who you around. You got to feel like you that girl. Mm -hmm. And to feel like that, you got to just like, even on days you're not doing nothing, try to dress up. Try to always yes. keep your hair done. Yes. Keep a little lash, you know, a light beat make. You ain't got to get make or bad, but know how to keep yourself together. Mm -hmm. Put on some clothes. Do that often. Don't don't be raggedy too often. Because then he's like, you, you're not expressing like how beautiful, who, who beautiful you are every day exactly. like you should do that when you look good you feel good you feel good that's that's facts so try to keep yourself up more than you dressing down like all the time like looking right and don't look at other people to give you confidence yeah like, don't, don't always yourself look for compliments mm -hmm. and all that stuff compliment yourself Period. love yourself the way that you love yourself is how somebody else and know how to love you exactly so love yourself how you carry yourself is how others is going to get why is like that that Stella Rose ain't no joke, baby. Do you hear me? <laughs> Dating a person with a child. <laughs> I can't relate. <laughs> I cannot relate. I will never. Let my stepmama license. This revolt. Ceased. Revolt. Expired, baby. Gone. These dead. Never was there. No. But I feel like, okay, so what are we talking about when we older? Cause the way we wait until we had kids, but yeah, ninety five percent of people in the world has kids. Okay, let's say so. First of all, what we saying is that we would never date a dude who got a child. Now, just because we want to experience that with him ourselves. Exactly. That's why, not because something wrong with the baby daddy. No, we just want to experience that with him together the first time. But when we older, if we have our kids, would you? You got no choice. Now, yeah, that can't be no hypocrite. I ain't gonna like him because he got kids. But I'm saying, like, if we get older, like, we find our husband. Like, this the perfect nigga, but he got, he a, got, baby. He got a baby. And we like 30. Because this gen yeah, we 30. We ain't got no kids, though. Ooh. <laughs> this the perfect dude. Like, this is man of your dreams, but he got a baby. <laughs> Y'all, I, I, I feel like it's different when you older, though. Like, uh, it's common to talk to I think you almost don't have a choice. I still can't do it. But I don't think you almost don't have a choice. Well, it's going to be like... I feel like different. now, at this age, I'm so young. I'm not dealing with no baby daddy. I'm sorry. Because I don't have to. Yeah, I don't have to. But when we get older, like, it's, it could be the norm. Like, you know, I'm everybody not, not waiting till they 30 to have kids. You know no. what I'm saying? I'm not going to do it, y'all. I'll be by myself. So you're not going to date no dude with no kid. Yeah. Even like when you grown. Even when he grown. He take he a good dad, all of that. Just know. <laughs> if I don't have none, I'm not dating. <laughs> No, I can't speak. I can't speak for the future. But right now, I can guarantee right. say no. Yeah. I'm too young for that. No, the baby daddy is. Oh my god, no, we too young. They knowing your worth. How do you like? Mm. This is a problem for a lot of people. Get into knowing your worth. I think it takes experience and going through stuff to figure mm -hmm. out your worth. I don't think you just know it. I think you have to go through stuff and understand what you're not gonna deal with. Mm -hmm. What you should deal with your your boundaries set them boundaries and don't let 
love allow them to be more open and more free, more passive. No, when you're in a relationship, set the boundaries from the gate, out the jump. You don't, you can't form boundaries with somebody after you already let them walk all over you. Form your boundaries at the beginning because mm -hmm. you know your worth as a woman. Mm -hmm. But keeping your worth, the problem is keeping your worth after you've been heartbroken with the nigga that you love. Yeah. Because y'all be weak in the knees. Weak in the knees. That's why you got to start standing up. You got to know. He did you know. what he did for a reason. That was not no mistake. Nope. That's really him. Like, people got to see people for who they are. Instead of not what you want. What them. you want them to be. Not the potential you see him. Well, I mean, well, he could be this. I just got to. No, yeah. nothing's wrong with you. Don't if change nothing about you. If them girls alone, then it'll he work. He'll be the perfect man. Mm -hmm. No, that's the problem. He's not ever going to leave them girls alone. So, you Got the move Especially not for you, cause he see that he don't gotta respect you to be with you. So why be with when you? When the respect leave from a nigga, it's not coming back. I'm and stop! It is not, not one nigga back. in the world. Y'all just it's get with seven a billion like, people in this world. This the only man in the world. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Like you love him, but he obviously don't love you, Pook. You gotta move on. If they don't treat you how you want to be treated, you gotta move on. You want to be miserable. You are gonna be like, I've been with him for ten years. Ten years and miserable. You could have left him out the two years. Tea. You're going to be miserable. better than a light pole. You and your kids miserable because you had to stay because you in love. No, baby. Yeah, and I don't like when people be saying, we're doing it for the kids, and you sick. Them kids don't want to see their mama hurting and all that. They want to see you happy. And you showing the kids how a relationship supposed to go. So if he see his daddy cheating on his mama, dog his mama, not respecting his mama, that's how he going to think relationships go. Mm -mm. So stop being with men that are not for you, that won't treat you like the queen that you are. You are a queen and be that. Period. That's where we are over here. Yeah. Talk in this tone. family. Okay. Going through your significant other's phone. <laughs> Wouldn't dare. You will never. I'd rather <laughs> eat a jean jacket <laughs> than go through that phone. We're 20 I can years old. see I'm blind. Blind. Wouldn't dare. I don't I'm care. It's looking. right there open in my face. He's telling me no. I wouldn't dare look through I'm it. I'm not touching as when we was young, we went through phones before. You went through phones before too, huh? Ain't nothing cute going through. Phone. I went through a phone, and you know what I'm saying. There. I'm not doing it again. If what's in that phone, the Lord gonna bring it to the light, and I'm gonna leave. What's for done it. in the dark will come to the light. That is a hundred percent fact. And I'm gonna leave. And what you go look for? What what this in the Bible? It's Seek and ye shall find. <laughs> Ain't seeking nothing because I don't wanna find nothing. Do you hear me? I'm not looking. So you just need to. I trust you. <laughs> And all the trust need to be in that phone. You need to have it, you know, do do right. I'm going to do right in mine. Don't touch mine. Don't. I ain't going to touch yours, but ain't nothing in mine because I'm faithful to you. I love you. I don't cheat. I do not cheat. So. Stay out that phone. I'm a, this is the warning. If you watch the video, this is the warning. If you was, if you was finna watch, get that phone out of this video, <laughs> go to bed. Turn over, I'm go to bed. I'm telling you, it's not the right move. Don't do We too it. old for that. Be for real. If you feel the need to check that phone, he cheating. Go ahead, leave anyway. Then leave. He's cheating. You feeling itchy like he doing something. He doing something. If he leave hiding. Him. Yeah, if it's one thing, if he going in, you wait, you reach for the phone, he jerking back. Come on, I got something to say. Because this bitch, you go to that date, he turn that phone over like this. <laughs> That's the last date. Yeah, you got the phone on the day. table sitting there. All you got to do is put it on do not stare. You got to flip it. This, He's scared. He don't know what You so terrified that what's going to up. Like, mm -mm. I do not like that, y'all. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Okay. What is considered something from a relationship that you can't come back from? Cheating. Hand down. Cheating. Not doing no cheating. You disrespect me and you cheat on me and you know we together. You ain't respect me enough, ain't think about me enough. You that selfish of a person to cheat. I'm not coming and back And I from don't you. consider cheating as a mistake. That's not a mistake. No, you know what choice. you were doing. You planned it. You, you thought about yeah. me. And somebody else, we're mm -hmm. done. I can't even look at you the same. We're done. Yeah. What's, no, what's another one, though? Because we know cheating. What's another cheating, boundary of yours um, that you can't come back from? Hmm, that you can't come back from? Do you disrespect my mama? Yeah, you you get out of line with any of my pants. You done. That's not yeah, Oh, you put your hands on me. I don't even you play like that. You put your hands on me? Uh, play fight or not? No, you're we're not done. playing like that. If I didn't touch you, you are. No. Because I'm not going to put my hands on you. We in an argument. You get choking me out. You're done. I'm not going to lie. You get an argument with me and you start throwing sh your punching walls. I'm next. <laughs> so you're done. <laughs> you're, you're done. No, we do not. No, we do not tolerate um, 
getting whooped getting whooped no, domestic yeah. violence none of that that's not cute that's not cool stop saying you want dudes to choke you up in your that's not cute like mm -hmm. what's wrong with you that shit turn into other stuff because he gonna kill you keep you see how many boys killing girls nowadays like be no, for real no, it's not that funny that ain't cute i'm gonna get down putting your head slapping me is not cute no man no okay do you believe in soulmates or soul ties oh soul ties definitely real um do i believe in soulmates mm -hmm. yes because i do believe if you put your trust in god and you sit back and stop trying to do stuff for yourself and for your flesh that if you put that trust in god that god will bring you who he has predestined for you that he wants for you to come in your path to lead y'all down the path of righteousness to build the empire that y'all want to build and i think that in turn is your soulmate that's what i think i guess i believe in it i don't know Amen, Maya. But I feel like people do meet their soulmates. Yeah, I think God bring you. I yeah. think if you sit there and trust God, I think God really brings who you meant to be with. And I think that's your soulmate. Period. When is it okay? When is it a good time to take a man serious? When he ready to be serious. Like, how do you know when a dude is being serious? With you? you don't know that man. I don't care what he does. I don't care none of that bull junk about he just a nice person. Until a man tell you when he meets you that he is looking for a wife, this is what he wants, this is what his life is planned for, then his actions falling behind I'm that say, he wants a wife and that's what he planned for. And you give yourself time to see because you can't see if he really mean it in, in two know. weeks. When you give yourself time to really see if his actions back up like he want a wife, he's building his life towards a wife, mm -hmm. he really is ready for that part of his life. Until then, everything that come out that man's mouth is bullshit. Everything yeah. he do is cap mm -hmm. every all of that he's not serious and if y'all think serious is, oh i'm making my girlfriend for two weeks that's not serious either until he says i am ready for this part of my life he's not serious don't take him serious until you propose oh it, that's when you <laughs> should really go to the next level <laughs> and they still cheat too <laughs> yeah wait till you marry y'all my other phone um had too much storage so we gotta switch back ignore the quality the quality is definitely different but it's okay okay so i'm gonna hire you too the last one we left off was Ooh. Um Your Worst Drunk Story. Oh my god. Lord, you can go first. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think your story is best in America. I don't want to talk about it, and that's why I'm fasting from No, liquor. we need this story. Come on. I'm fasting we from liquor until time. I'm 28. I'm 23. Come on, we need this story time. This is hilarious, y'all. No, it's not. It actually is sick, and I don't. I probably still got alcohol poison. <laughs> Go ahead, tell me. <sighs> my my worst drunk story is when I was in Dallas, right? We went to the club. I don't know what. I don't know what. Because we drank the same amount of shots. We drank the same amount of shots. And I don't time. know why mine just hit me like. I don't know either. But she I was, was perfectly fine. While I was taking the shots, I was sitting down, right? So yeah. the club's finna end. Soon as I stood up, blur. I was blurry too, but blurred, but it was like a blur that it wasn't focusing. Like you know, you, your camera blurry and it mind came. you, we was drunk, but we went and got some water. These girls, we sat with these girls. They gave us some water. You don't remember Lord. that? Whitney. What girls? So we went to the bar and we was getting some water from the bar. But she's like, I got water in my section. So we went to her section and she gave us like all these water bottles and they was no. like asking us all these. Y'all, she was drunk. I was after I stood up from that section. I don't. I remember it was blurred. My head was pounding. I could not focus. My stomach was hurting. Everything was just bad. I just knew that. Okay, was so bad. mind y'all, it's just us. <laughs> so we get the water. We stand. I get. A, I call us an Uber. We standing outside, like not outside, but like right by the door. And we talking. She talking perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with us. I knew she was like dizzy, but I was like perfect fine. We get in the Uber. She talking. We good. She kept saying, like, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. That girl said, I'm about to throw up. And I tried to hold it in my mouth, y'all, and try to open it up. No. It came completely out, y'all, like. In the man car, yeah. In the man, in the Uber car. I feel like I was turning into a werewolf. Do you know I was like, everywhere. Literally, her back was like. Everywhere, so we get he jumped us out. What well, he was mad? Oh, he was pissed. I don't remember nothing. I went by the Airbnb. Um, so he dropped us, he was dropping us off, but he was like going off on me, like not bad, but he was like, 
yo this is crazy this is crazy and it's like he gave me some wipes to help him clean it up so i'm helping him clean this girl y'all i'm sleep by the airbnb though she just <laughs> as soon as we pull up she jumped out the door the car went to the front of airbnb and fell asleep outside <laughs> so that's the scene i remember then i don't mind know. you i'm in the car cleaning with him listening to him talk for 45 minutes he like i guess i'm gonna try not to charge you i'm gonna try not to charge you so i'm thinking he's not gonna charge me 45 minutes she's sitting outside it's cold it's november it's freezing she's yeah. outside Lena. so i come to the door i said we gotta go to bed i get in the bed i go to sleep tell them where you went all i remember was okay so i remember i went to sleep outside i woke up in the shower y'all on the floor the floor of the shower the shower running tearing me up i'm like what the word and i just laid them i think i went to sleep again i went back up and then i got out and then everybody was asleep I will never. That's why I've never. Mind y'all, we first went back in. She went in the bed and went to sleep before I went to sleep. <laughs> so I'm thinking like she in the bed. So I'm guessing she got out of the bed and went to the bathroom <laughs> and got in the shower, but naked. Nobody knew. I was smacked up. Like what? Like what? Never drink it again till I'm 28. Y'all, that's hilarious. Do you got a jump story? What's my worst one? I had a good one. When you went to sleep and that man was smacking you, what was the one? Okay, in college, y'all. You got, blacked um, like dead, Lauren. <laughs> I went to a party, y'all. I was drinking and stuff. Oh, we went to the club. We went to the club. And we went with my homeboys oh, okay. and my friends. And we rolled with my homeboys, though. And I got drunk at the club. And I remember getting back in the car. And after that, I was asleep. And I think we was all waiting on me to go in the Waffle House. But I didn't wake up. I was just knocked out You were car. not, like, literally. So, I think Elijah would... Carry me into Wap House. Carry it now. Yeah, because I was woke. Elijah carried me into Wap House. When I got back to Wap House, I went back to sleep. So when the food was coming out, Elijah was like slapping my face, trying to get me to wake up. Done to the world. I was done. And then I woke up. He she helped me eat some eggs. And she went back to sleep. And I went back to sleep. I was done. That's outrageous. Outrageous. It was funny, though. There are drunk stories. He recorded it. I, we still got the video. Our drunk stories. What's my drunk stories? Can you be friend with a guy without catching feelings? Just the last question. A girl can, I think. I can. Yeah, a girl can. I feel like, um... I feel like... Y'all both have to just not like each other. When y'all met, like, when y'all first met, it couldn't be no feelings. Like, you should... You could go in with the tension of, I'm just gonna be her homegirl. I'm gonna be his homeboy. Yeah. I think, like, with me, like, I we all going... It's a, with my homeboys, we went in with the intention, like, that's my homeboy, that's my homegirl. Yeah. I think sometimes that, like, if the other person do catch feelings, though... It'd be weird, but you can keep it to the point of like, hey, we ain't gonna never go there. You tell them like, hey, we ain't gonna never go there. Mm -hmm. Like, you getting confused. And then you can go back and y'all still be like friends because you ain't never let it, like, nothing happen. But with my homeboys, we ain't never. I ain't never looked at none of my homeboys. You are home twin. Like, you know. Yeah, you, you like. stuck as that homeboy. That means I ain't had no interest in you. No. Like, you tell me all your stuff. I don't want you. Yeah, why would I why would want I you after I know how what you, you do? Is. No, I'm good really? off you. You're my homeboy, my brother. We twins, locked in, none yeah. of that. Yeah, guys, well, I hope you liked our girl talk. We love doing these. We're going to yeah. be giving the girls. Y'all got to see if, ask if y'all want another one. Comment below if you want another one and what topics you want us to talk about. And, yeah, we out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and tune in for more content. Yeah, follow me on IG and TikTok at Lauren here, L-A-U-R-E-N-H-E-R-E-E -E -E underscore on both. Right and it's going to be in the description, and I'm going to add it right here. Period. Bye y'all, thanks for watching. Got for me, nigga.